Hello there everyone, I am Jeff Moore with Bedford Camera and Video and I just love using my digital SLR to capture footage for a lot of my video projects. And like a lot of folks out there, I run into a bit of a roadblock to decide which microphone is best for my project. Now, Bedford Camera and Video has a wide range of microphones to uh, choose from. Boom mics, shotgun mics, stereo mics, lavalier setups such as this, as well as a lot of accessories to kind of help enhance your audio quality. Now, the biggest hang up that I get is I have an SLR with one input, but I might have a project where I want to use multiple microphones. Well, audio mixers have come a long way to kind of help resolve this problem, uh, but the thing is they tend to be a little bit big and bulky and attaching to the bottom of the camera just might not be the best you know, solution for your rig. Well, Beach Tech has come up with a little simple compact solution to help resolve all your multiple microphone dilemmas. The Beach Tech MCC2 requires no batteries. Therefore, it offers a noise-free feed directly to your camera. The mixer is made with an aluminum chassis that slides directly onto your hot shoe. It has two mono mini jack inputs and one stereo mini jack input. The mixer is designed with three separate cold shoes, which opens all sorts of combinations for your camera rig. We've put together this little setup just to show you how easy it is to work with the Beach Tech MCC2. Uh, as you'll uh, notice here, we have our left and right channels here. We have our output from the mixer that is fed into the Nikon D750. And we've chosen this camera because uh, it actually has audio levels that you can actually see on the LCD screen. So if we take in this demonstration, if we take our little Rode microphone, I'm going to plug it into the left channel here. So just kind of make sure, here we go. We're going to plug it in and microphone is on. And as you'll see, there, uh, there is no uh, showing of an input because I have the level all the way down. And so as I bring the volume up, you can see that we are feeding into the left channel of the Nikon camera. And as a test, just to show here, hang on. Okay. So there, we are feeding into the left channel, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that down. I'm going to unplug from the left, and I'm going to put it into the right. There we go. We are in the right channel. As you can see, my level was already up for the right channel, and we are feeding into the right channel of the camera. Now, on the back here, I'm going to turn this around and show you on the back. There are the levels, control, volume controls of the left and right channel. Now in the middle, you'll notice there's an MS switch, mono stereo switch. And of course, since we're in stereo, we are feeding into the right channel. So if I switch it to mono, even though I haven't switched any input on the mixer, it's feeding into the camera and the camera is placing it on both channels. So as you can see, very simple to operate, very compact and uh, works with just about any type of audio input with a 3.5 millimeter jack. And so it can really kind of take your audio and your video uh, projects all the way up to the next level. Be sure to check us out on our website at bedfords.com and check us out on our new website at bedfordoutdoors.com.